How we doing, Gunners? So today, I just want to show you guys something that I do when I plant my trees. Because uh, the area that I live in uh, is uh, prone to flow. Like my whole backyard will flow very easily when it rains. So I wanted to show you how I plant my trees. Because I've seen many people that they're worried that their tree uh, is planted too high. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys that it's not such a thing like too high in Florida. Because it's going to, when you plant it, it's just going to try to sit in the ground. It's going to go down a little bit as the time passes and it settles down. So this is what I do. I guess all those... Uh, plastic uh, things that they use for fencing or for doing trellis and things like that. And I just use a couple of seed tie and I seed tie them around. And then what I do is like, I dig a little bit in the ground and then I pull my three. And then I backfill around with uh, the same native, native soil that I have. And you might think, oh my God, that's too high. I promise you it's not. It will go down as it settled and it will eventually almost go down. But if you can tell around, I'm throwing pieces of banana trees and uh, I will throw like clippings and things like that. And then eventually I will put mulch, like leaf mulch and stuff that I have. And uh, it will settle down and I'm gonna show you uh, other one that I have planned like that in the other side of the garden. Uh, don't mind the mess, we're still in kind of like a, is it gonna be winter, is it not gonna be winter, is it gonna get cold, so it's a little messy still. But you see the guava tree, the same thing. I plant it the same way because um, if I don't do that, you see I have like a whole trench here that I created, so when it rains, all this is like literally like another swimming pool besides the one that I have. But you see, I plant it high and tight, and then I backfill with like mulch and stuff like that, and it almost level to that ground. And uh, it's been so far successful to, to me. I mean, uh, I plant this mango tree, uh, which I have covered right now, so you guys won't be able to see it. I plant it too low, and uh, I have had so many problems with that mango tree that I cannot even explain to you guys how many problems has given me. But um, this avocado tree here, the same thing. I didn't do that. And what happened was I literally had to dig it out and plant it again. And I still think that I could go a little higher because all that area flows really bad when it rains in my uh, in my zone. Right here, like, um, I think we don't even have as much sandy. I think they just fill this and the one in the bottom is like that mug. Because remember, all this was underwater back in the days. But uh, look at this mango tree, same thing. Same, same way I did it, I backfill and then that, that, you know, the mulch that I put on the sides, it will degrade it, and then it goes out, no problem. And uh, it's not good to mulch mango trees when they're like older and established, but when they're young, they do still need a little bit of nitrogen. And, uh, and I'm gonna give you a quick sample right here. This avocado tree, I planted the same way that you see the other ones, and look how much has sink down and almost everything is being depleted. This is a fantastic avocado, which is a, it's really called tolerance. And then here I got my Gary mango that I already even took the ring off. And you can tell how much it sink down. I said, it said it, you know, when it settles down in the ground, it just goes down. So here in Florida, if you live in an area that is prone to, uh, to float and when it rains the water doesn't drain as as fast this is what you want to do because uh 
it secure you that you, your tree is gonna be high like you need it to be. Uh, here, you see it? Um, and it's nothing complicated. Like I told you, I get two pieces of that plastic um, fence material and uh, I put sweet ties, I run it around and sometimes I do like a double ring. I do one from the middle and one from the side. So I leave like two inches between one and the other one and then in the two inches I put mulch and then inside I just backfill it with uh, the native soil. Anyways, I, I didn't want to make this video too long so I just wanted to share this with you because here in Florida the best way that you can plant a tree is up. You know, mount it up like they say, you know, like the people that really knows what they're doing, that is what they do. Mount it up because it, it flows so easily and then you will drown your tree, you can get raw rot, which is very, very, very common in this uh, area here in Orlando, Florida. As always, keep on planting and I wish you guys a great day and always here to help please if you feel like my content was good like and subscribe any comments are very welcome and uh you know always always uh try to go out there and do something every day so that way you don't get behind spring is around the corner thank you so much bye